Hi everyone, my name is Gaurav and you are watching Step Campus. In this video, we are going to talk about the digital SOP 2024. So TCS has recently changed the SOP. So what from the May cycle they are going to update, uh, we are going to see in this video. Okay, let's see. Yeah, in this screen, you can see uh, the digital SOP 2024 steps. So like in previous video, I have talked about like what is the prerequisite courses we have to do to become a digital or we have to appear for a digital exam. Okay. So in this video, we will discuss uh, some little part of that one also, and then we will move to the next step also. Okay. So first see, uh, articulation and domain learning they have included. Okay. These, these are the mandatory prerequisite, which we have to be followed before giving digital exam. Okay. So articulation either pass or distinction we have to achieve and domain learning we have to complete. Uh, it's a pass or distinction you can say but if you complete the courses of domain one so it will tick. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, the digital section if you see so we will see like what is the possible combinations here uh, which will lead you to be a digital. Okay. So I have uh, for your easy one uh, I have created this slide so that we can see here the possible three steps and these three combination you can achieve digital okay so let's talk about one by one so first we will talk about the combination of one okay so first combination is like i uh, we have to choose two full stack okay uh, suppose in case you have chosen t1 and t2 so in t1 you have to achieve distinction and in t2 either pass or distinction and vice versa okay so two full stack you can choose in one you can achieve uh, distinction and in another uh, full stack you can choose either uh, you can achieve either pass or a distinction okay so also you will become digital now we will move to the second uh, combination so suppose like full uh, full call stack you are facing some issue you are seeing like the course is very fast and you are not able to do both full stack then we have another combination as well so in this video uh, in this uh, section if you say uh, so we have to do uh, one full stack uh, distinction yeah must aware like a full stack is a distinction now okay so full stack we have to uh, cleared uh, in any combinations because now they have removed the core programming so we have to lie on the core full stack only so one core full stack is a dist uh, distinction is a mandatory in every combinations okay yeah so uh, we are talking about the second combination yeah so we have to take one full stack with distinction and another if the core full stack is not good so we can choose uh, uh, any not core, uh, core non tech program uh, non tech courses like bg skill and progress pro, uh, process why we are not choosing articulation here because i already told you articulation is a mandatory okay so we have to either pass or achieve distinction in prerequisite uh, area only so this articulation is uh, doesn't lie here okay because that is a mandatory part Apart from then, you can choose either B skill or process to become a digital and the third combination. So in third combination, if you see, so yeah, as I told you, the full stack is a mandatory and we have to as a distinction. Okay. Apart from this one, uh, we can take any internal or ex external unit elective to become a digital. So these are the possible three combinations. Okay. Now, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about some other aspect also. So see, I am focusing on. Uh, full stack because everyone uh, for a digital aspirants uh, we have to uh, follow a core full stack okay and we have to achieve distinction so i am considering t12 for my case and i will be going to update a videos on uh, this t12 course that is automation testing okay so as of now the course is not updated in the i evolve but for appear digital exam okay so we have to be 4869 competent okay so uh, if you want to uh, appear for a uh, digital then you have to uh, give 4869 courses okay from the i evolve so that course is already there okay i am talking about t12 t12 is not uh, available in the i evolve as of now but they are going to update these uh, courses maybe two to three weeks uh, later on from today's date okay so but uh, they have also said like if you want to uh, uh, appear in the exam then we have to become 4869 uh, course competent so uh, in the next video, I am going to uh, make a video on how to uh, competent of 4869 courses. So meanwhile, uh, in this video, I am just focusing on the digital combinations only. So that's all in this video. See you in the next video.